At least 36 Americans have died in the Dominican Republic since 2018. And tonight, one Milwaukee woman has a warning to tourists. She was so terrified, she's thankful to be alive. This is a story you'll see only on 4. It was a trip of a lifetime, a Mother's Day gift from her son, a getaway to the Dominican Republic. These are pictures from a boat excursion. I was really excited. I was proud of him, and I mean, he told me I didn't have to pay anything. He just packed my stuff and let's go. In the beginning, it was a dream trip until it wasn't. And that's where it went from being a great time to a probably one of the most scariest times of my life. Sherry noticed bartenders singled out her and her son. They were bringing me shots of liquor and they were trying to get me to drink it. The Milwaukee native was courteous, but they did not see her dump the drinks in the ocean. They thought you had drank all those shots. Yeah. And they thought that they would be in control of you. Absolutely, absolutely. Totally sober, Sherry leaves the boat for a swim. I just feel just a swish where somebody grabbed me from behind. And um, I turn around and I see that it's the captain on the boat. And so I'm like trying to pull away. And as I'm trying to pull away, he's like fondling me. Sherry shows me the area from her cell phone. As soon as he grabbed me, the music on the boat went extremely loud. You I think knew they I was turned in it up on purpose? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. And so this is when I start splashing water, screaming for help. A group of women notice her struggle. The look of terror would, had to be on my face because one of the girls, she kept turning around. She realized that I was saying help and her and about four other girls came and grabbed me. I talked by phone to the eyewitness who grabbed Sherry away from the man. Tavia Blue of Atlanta told me, quote, I saw the look of terror in her eyes. She was clearly in distress. I'm thankful for them. I, 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 you know, she gave me her information and I told her that she was my hero um, because it could have went a, a totally different way. The group made a point not to complain loudly out of fear of revenge. We're going to act like nothing's wrong because we're in the middle of nowhere. They got back to the hotel and began notifying authorities. That turned out to be difficult. And we reported it to the hotel. The hotel tells me, okay, we'll take note of it, but you have to report it to the excursion people, and the excursion people report it to the police. So Sherry contacted the excursion company. I said, do I get a police report? They said, no, they don't do the police report, but they're going to um, fire the person, the captain, and the other people on a boat. I reached out to the emergency number on a reservation, but did not get an answer. Late today, Sunwing sent me a statement from Nexus Tours. It reads in part, ensuring our customers' safety and well-being is our main concern, and our team carefully vets every tour that we sell to ensure that it meets, if not surpasses, local operating standards. We have reviewed the incident report filed in May when our customer shared her concerns with us, and we can confirm that these were relayed to the boat operator immediately. Our team is trained in dealing with sensitive issues such as this one, and it's our policy to thoroughly investigate every alleged incident of this nature. We will continue to pursue this matter once we have more details from our customer. Ultimately, for Sherry, her number one goal was for her and her son to make it back home safely. You know what, I'm just prayerful that me and my son made it home and I'm never going back. Now, Sherry does point out that not everybody in the Dominican Republic is bad. She said there are a lot of good people and she did have some good times, but she does warn people go going there, travel in groups, stay with a lot of people and be cautious at all times. We're going to link the excursion company's full statement on our website at TMJ4.com.